Welcome to Keysight Education Portal. Today, we will be sharing with you the product overview of Keysight X1149. Keysight X1149 Boundary Scan Analyzer is a printed circuit board tester which follows the IEEE 1149.1 standard test access port and boundary scan architecture. It supports the following IEEE standards, IEEE 1149.1. IEEE 1149.6, IEEE 1581, IEEE 1687. Being a versatile board, X1149 can conduct in circuit design analysis in an easy to use software interface. A few key features of the X1149 include Design for test, DFT, analysis. After performing an evaluation of the boundary scan chain topology design, the X1149 will generate a DFT report to point out any broken connections or fans out issues. Tests. With several test types available, the software can test for advanced input-output interconnects and handle all possible circuit topologies. Test coverage. Based on the several tests, the test coverage report will clearly define the various classifications such as shorts only or opens only. Test point reduction. A test point reduction report will also be generated to enable test developers to strategize the test flow. Auto bank. The auto bank enables testing of multiple memories in parallel simultaneously. This in turn improves the speed of performing memory testing. Cover extent test. The cover extent test greatly reduces the need for physical test access and works on both connectors and non-boundary scan IC. Multi-chain test generation and scan path linker. This feature facilitates in daisy chaining individual chains to provide interconnect coverage between these chains. 1687. Keysight X1149 supports IEEE 1687 2014 standard to access and control embedded instruments within a semiconductor chip. Custom test. The custom test can help to describe initialization sequences or preconditioning for chips which helps to adjust device characteristic to enable tests. ICT integration. By integrating X1149-1149 into I3070 or I1000, both test platform complement each other to achieve the best test coverage with optimum test time. Ease of debug tools. The various debug tools such as the auto adjust tool automatically tweaks various parameters like slew rates, TCK speed, etc. to find the optimum setting for unit under test. Now, let us explore the Keysight X1149 software. The X1149 software comes installed with three default login user IDs. The engineer. He or she has full access to the software and are mainly in charge of the development and debug. The operator he or she will focus on production and have access to launch and run of test programs. The admin. He or she can create additional logins and set their privileges for administration purposes. The three logins allow for separate access privileges into the different areas within the interface. To log in as engineer, select development and debug application. For first time user, the default password for engineer is X1149BSA1. The software will then prompt you for a change in password. Once password is changed, you need to re-log in with the new password. After login in, we will now look at the software graphic user interface. This is the layout of the development and debug graphic user interface. As shown, this is the pull-down menu to access the various functions in the software. The icon bar provides easy access to the functions in the software. The process outlines showcase the step-by-step -step guide to new user for test development. The explorer allows users to explore the contents of the currently loaded project. The output window showcases the output of the program file. The repair ticket window shows the failure logs of each test. This provides simple and intuitive details on the failing nodes and what is the probable reason for the failure. Lastly, messages will state both warning and error messages for users referenced during project development or test generation. We will now go through a few buttons you will encounter when running tests. We will explore the five various buttons which can be seen at the top left side of this program. The run button will run the test continuously even if it encounters a fail. The run to fail button will stop running the test once it encounters a fail. To ensure that the testing taking place is accurate and consistent, users can also set the number of times they wish to run for any test. As shown, this test will run for 25 times in this case. The run with debug tool will run test sequence in debug mode. It will skip when command faces error and stop when breakpoint is encountered. By executing the test sequence in debug mode, the execution will stop if a breakpoint is encountered. 
clicking on it again will allow the test sequence to continue. Lastly, by pressing the stop button, this will stop the execution of the program. You are now ready to run the test as shown. As part of X1149 software, one can choose to dock or undock the windows. This enables users the flexibility to view or hide data when needed. By left clicking and holding the repair ticket tab, drag it and move the mouse over the output panel. Depending on the arrow position, release the mouse button to your preference.